Welcome. Let's dive into the solutions for Cambridge Lower Secondary Checkpoint Science Paper 1, October 2023. Question 1. The arrows show the pathway of water through the root. For one mark. Question 1a. Name the type of root cell labeled A in the diagram. Answer. Root hair cell. Question 1b. Suggest one way root cell A is adapted to its function. Use the diagram to help you. For one mark. Answer. Root hair has large surface area. Root hair is long and thin. Root hair has thin membrane and short diffusion pathway. Question 1c. Water is transported from the roots to the stem and the leaves through vessel B named vessel B. For one mark. Answer. Vessel B is xylem vessel. Just for additional information, the phloem vessel transports food nutrients from the leaves. Question 1D. Vessel B transports minerals to the leaves. Name the mineral needed to make chlorophyll. For one mark. Answer. Magnesium ion. What is chlorophyll? Chlorophyll is the green powerhouse of plants. Imagine you're a plant. You don't have a mouth to eat, but you still need energy to grow and thrive. That's where chlorophyll comes in. It's like a tiny kitchen inside your plant cells. Here's how it works. As sunshine is the key ingredient, plants absorb sunlight through their leaves. Chlorophyll acts like a light catcher, grabbing specific colors of sunlight, mostly blue and red. A water and air are the other players. Plants also take in water from the soil and carbon dioxide from the air through tiny openings on their leaves called stomata. A the magic happens. Inside the plant cells, chlorophyll uses the captured sunlight energy to combine water and carbon dioxide in a process called photosynthesis. Think of it as a delicious plant recipe. If food is made through photosynthesis, plants produce glucose, a type of sugar which is their main source of energy. They can also use this sugar to make other things they need, like proteins and vitamins. A the leftover is released. Plants don't need all the oxygen produced during photosynthesis. As a bonus, they release oxygen back into the air, which we breathe. Question 2. Safia has a solution of copper sulfate. Describe how Safia makes large and dry copper sulfate crystals from this solution. Use labeled diagrams to help you with your description. Four, three marks. Answer. There are six steps to follow. Step one, heat dilute solution of copper sulfate to make a concentrated solution. Step two, make a saturated solution of copper sulfate until first appearance of crystals. Step three, Leave hot solution to evaporate for a few days. Step 4. Filter off the blue crystal. Step 5. Wash crystals with a small amount of cold water. Step 6. Dry crystals between filter paper. The heat and temperature are different. A. Tick. All the correct statements that describe heat. 1. A measure of how cold something is. A. Describes temperature. 2. A measure of how hot something is, A also describes temperature. 3. A measure of the thermal energy of a substance, tick, describes heat. 4. Measured in MJ, tick, describes heat. 5. Transferred by conduction, tick, describes heat, 4, 2 marks. Question 3b. Measurements of temperature in degree C can be positive, negative, or zero. Describe how the temperature measurements of water can be positive, negative, or zero. Use ideas about the three states of matter in your answer. Four two marks. Answer. The temperature is negative when water is a solid, ice. The temperature is zero, degree C, solid water, ice is melting. The temperature is positive when water is a liquid. The temperature is positive when water is a gas, steam. Question 4. This question is about the carbon cycle and climate change. 4a. Complete the carbon cycle diagram. Choose words from the list. Combustion, decomposition, feeding, photosynthesis, and respiration. Answer. Photosynthesis. 
Plants capture sunlight to turn air and water into food. Feeding. Animals eat plants and other animals, taking in carbon for energy. Respiration. Plants and animals release carbon dioxide back into the air as they use energy. Decomposition. Dead plants and animals are broken down by decomposers, returning carbon to the soil. Combustion. Burning fossil fuels releases carbon dioxide trapped for millions of years. 4b. Describe what happens during decomposition. 4.1 marks. Answer. Decomposition is the breakdown of dead material to release carbon dioxide. 4c. The main cause of climate change is burning fossil fuels. Describe one effect of climate change. 4.1 marks. Answer. It causes global increase in average temperature, known as global warming. This leads to the problem of polar ice caps melting, flowering time change, changes in rainfall patterns, sea level change, flooding, drought extreme weather events, species loss or killing of species. Question 5 Mia and Aiko are discussing ideas about fetal development and the health of the mother. Mia said, A scientific study has shown that the mass of an unborn baby will be less if the mother has an unhealthy diet. So, I think the mother should be careful what she eats. Aiko said, My mother says she ate what she wanted and I was born healthy. So, I don't think it matters what the mother eats. 5a. Who has made a more informed decision? Is it Mia or Aiko? Tick. One box. 4-1 mark. Answer. Mia made more informed decision. Mia's decision is based on scientific evidence or using evidence from a secondary source like research data, scientific or research study, and facts. 5b. The diet of the mother is one factor that affects fetal development. Write down one other factor that affects fetal development. 4-1 mark. Answer. Smoking, drugs, genes of mother or fetus, age of mother, health of mother, multiple births, medication of mother, oxygen intake of fetus, etc. Question 6. Many scientists believe that a large asteroid collided with the Earth over 65 million years ago. 6a. Two effects of this collision were the formation of a crater and climate change. Write down one other possible effect of this collision. 4-1 mark. Answer. Mass extinction, fires, dust clouds, airborne debris, sunlight being unable to penetrate to surface, shockwaves, seismic shaking, earthquakes, tsunami, heat radiation, wind blasts, acid rain, decrease in photosynthesis, etc. Carlos models an asteroid colliding with the Earth. He drops a steel ball into a box containing sand. 6 by describe what the steel ball and the sand represent in his model. 4-2 marks. Answer. Steel ball represents asteroid while sand represents surface of the Earth. 6 v 2 suggest two ways Carlos increases the width and depth of the crater. 4-2 marks. Answer. 1. Throw the steel ball. 2. Use a steel ball with more mass. 3. Use a steel ball with a larger diameter. 4. Drop the steel ball from a higher height. 5. Increase density of ball. Question 7 waveforms show how sound waves interact. Look at the different waveforms. 7a. Waveform B is the result of the interaction between two waveforms. Which word describes this interaction? 4-1 mark. Answer. Wave cancellation or complete destructive interference. 7-B. Look at this diagram showing two waveforms. Which waveform A, B, C, or D is the result of the interaction between these two waveforms? 4-1 mark. Answer. Combination of waveform A. Seven C. Look at this diagram showing two waveforms. Which waveform A, B, C, or D is the result of the interaction between these two waveforms? Four one mark. 
Answer. Waveform V. Question 8. 8A. Chun investigates the inheritance of sex in humans. Chun. A uses green balls to represent gametes with X chromosomes. A uses yellow balls to represent gametes with Y chromosomes. Puts 25 green balls and 25 yellow balls into bag A. Puts 50 green balls into bag B. It takes one ball out of each bag and records the colors. A returns the balls to their bags. Explain why bag A represents male gametes. 4 1 mark. Answer. Contains X and Y chromosomes. Eight B. Chin takes balls out of the bags five more times. Eight B. I look at the table of his results. The table is not complete. Complete the table to identify if the two balls gametes, chosen represent a male or a female offspring, for one mark. Answer. Number one. Green from bag A plus green from bag B produces a female offspring. Number two. Yellow from bag A plus green from bag B produces a male offspring. Eight B. Two. The chance of a male and a female producing a male offspring is 50%. Chen's results do not show a value of 50%. Suggest why. 4 1 mark. Answer. The repetition is not enough to be reliable. He did not use all the balls. Question 9 Sodium is in group 1 of the periodic table. Sodium reacts with chlorine to form an ionic compound. This ionic compound contains sodium ions, with symbol Na positive, and chloride ions, with symbol Cl negative. Why a sodium ion is positively charged? Circle the correct answer. A sodium atom gains a proton. A sodium atom loses a proton. A sodium atom gains an electron. A sodium atom loses an electron for one mark. Answer. Imagine sodium wants to be cool, just like its neighbor neon with a full outer shell of electrons, eight for them. Sodium has one extra electron it doesn't quite need, so it donates that electron to chlorine, who needs one more electron to fill its outer shell, wants 17 total. This donation creates an attraction between them, like opposite charges sticking together. Sodium becomes positively charged, cation, with one less electron and chlorine becomes negatively charged, anion, with one extra electron. This ionic bond holds them together as sodium chloride, table salt. The correct option is, a sodium atom loses an electron. Question 10. The albatross is a sea bird with very long wings. 10a. The albatross may have long wings due to the process of natural selection. Tick. All the boxes that show correct statements about natural selection and the albatross. The albatross with longer wings pass on their genes to their offspring. There is no variation in the length of albatross wings. The albatross do not compete for food. The length of the wings decreased over many generations. The albatross with longer wings are more likely to survive. 4 2 marks. Answer. Tick. The albatross with longer wings pass on their genes to their offspring. And also tick. The albatross with longer wings are more likely to survive. 10b. A scientist counts the number of albatross that nest on an island every year. Look at the results. Complete these sentences. Between the years 1980 and 2020, the number of albatross decreased from 5,200 to 800. One reason for this could be environmental disruption. More reasons for the reduction in the population of albatross includes shortage of food supply, hunting, pollution, death rate is more than birth rate, increased number of predators. If the trend in the graph continues, 
the albatross species could become extinct. Four three marks. Question 11 Rajiv investigates the reaction of zinc, Zn, and dilute sulfuric acid, H2SO4, hydrogen, H2, and zinc sulfate, ZnSO4, are made in the reaction. 11a, write the symbol equation for this reaction, 4 2 marks. Answer. B. Rajiv puts 25 cubic centimeters of dilute sulfuric acid into a flask, adds 0.50 g, an excess, of zinc powder to the sulfuric acid, assembles the equipment shown in the diagram, and measures the total volume of hydrogen collected in the gas syringe every 10 seconds. I. Look at the graph showing his results. Rajiv repeats the experiment using the same quantities of zinc powder and dilute sulfuric acid. He uses acid at a higher temperature. He does not change any other conditions. Sketch a line on the graph to show the results of this experiment. Label the line H2. Answer. A higher temperature increases the rate of reactions. The new red line has a more steep gradient. Two, Rajiv repeats the experiment a second time using the same quantities of zinc and dilute sulfuric acid. He uses a lump of zinc instead of zinc powder. He does not change any other conditions. The rate of the reaction decreases. Explain why. Use ideas about the particle model. Two, answer, zinc lump has smaller surface area. Therefore, there is fewer collisions between the particles of zinc and sulfuric acid. Question 12 Blessy investigates floating and sinking. She puts a whole lemon in a beaker of water. The whole lemon floats. Water has a density of 997 kg per cubic meter. Whole lemon has a density of 984 kg per cubic meter. Look at the table showing the density of different parts of a lemon. 12a. Predict which parts of the lemon float when in water. Explain your answer. 4-1 mark. Answer. Peel of the lemon and seed will float in water. Explanation. Density is less than the density of water. 12b. Blessy wants to find out if the different parts of a lemon will float or sink in salt solution. She predicts that as the concentration of salt solution increases, eventually all three parts of the lemon will float. Write a plan for her investigation. 2. Answer. She makes different concentrations of salt solution. By adding different amounts of salt to water, she drops each part of the lemon into the salt solution and see if it floats. Question 13 elements and compounds either have a giant structure or a simple structure. The table shows information about five substances. Complete the table to identify if the structure of each substance is giant or simple. Using the given properties of their melting point, boiling point, and conduction. 2. Answer. Substance J is simple structure. Substance K is a giant structure. Substance L is simple structure. Substance M is a giant structure. Substance N is a giant structure. Simple substances. These typically have weaker forces between their molecules. These forces can be hydrogen bonding, a specific type of attraction. Weaker forces require less energy to overcome, so simple substances generally have lower melting points and boiling points. While giant covalent structures, these have very strong covalent bonds throughout their entire structure. Imagine a giant molecule made up of millions of atoms linked by strong covalent bonds. Breaking all these bonds requires a lot of energy, leading to very high melting points and boiling point for giant covalent structures. 
Examples include diamond, made entirely of carbon atoms, and silicon dioxide, CO2, the main component of sand. Question 14. Ahmed describes an electrical circuit. My circuit is a complete series circuit with one battery of cells, two lamps, one open switch, one variable resistor, one meter to measure the current in the whole circuit, one meter to measure the voltage across the variable resistor. Draw his circuit using conventional symbols. The battery of cells has been drawn for you. This question is for four marks. You get the first mark for drawing the two lamps correctly. You get the second mark for drawing the voltmeter correctly and connecting it in parallel across the variable resistor. You get the third mark for drawing the variable resistor correctly. You get the fourth mark for drawing the ammeter correctly and connecting it in series to the wires. That concludes our solutions to the Cambridge Lower Secondary Checkpoint Science Paper 1, October 2023. We hope this video has been helpful in understanding the concepts and answering the questions. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your studies. To support this channel, subscribe, like and share the video.